Hi, I'm George Pearson, and I'll be showing you how you can do a Photoshop Elements Keystone correction to take a perspective problem image like this and fix it just like that. If you have fun with this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe as well. I do a bunch of videos every single week, about half of those on Photoshop Elements or other graphics programs. You can find more about that on my channel. And also take a look at my complete training courses for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. It's pretty easy to fix this kind of distortion, this kind of perspective distortion in here by doing some Photoshop Elements Keystone correction. Let me just talk just for a second about the keystoning, where that comes from. Here's a picture of an old doorway. And there's a stone right there at the top. Let me just zoom in on that stone. Now this is called the keystone of the arch, right in there. And it holds the whole arch together. This actually was a major invention that somebody made way back when. This keystone adds a lot of strength to the arch. Now it's thinner at the bottom and it's wider at the top. So because it's a keystone, it has a kind of a basic shape here, that kind of a wedge shape. That's where that phrase keystoning comes in. And that's the same problem we have here, except that it's reversed. It's wider at the bottom and skinnier at the top. It's kind of easing in towards the top up there. Let's go ahead now and fix this. There are a couple of ways of doing this kind of correction. But first, let's go over here to the background layer, right click and choose Duplicate Layer and choose OK. reason why I'm doing that is we'll be changing this picture and I want to have my original saved right here just in case I mess up. I can then always go back here and quickly make a new layer and try it again. So good idea to always go ahead and make a duplicate and work on your duplicate layer and don't touch your background original. Just hide it like I did there. OK, the two ways to do this, if you're working in a newer version of Photoshop Elements, over here under Modify, there is a Perspective Crop Tool right there. I won't be using that. Instead, I'll use a version here that works with all versions of Photoshop Elements, not just the newer versions. But first, let's just zoom out just a little bit here. There we go, making a bit of space. And to be able to judge our lines in here, let's put our grid on. Go up to View, come down to Grid right there. There's the grid. One last little thing to double check. Go up to View, come down to Snap to and make sure that grid is not checked. If you see a check mark here, just click on that to uncheck that grid. We don't want to have anything snapping to the grid lines, which will cause us a bit of problems in here. Okay, now we could use a perspective tool, but that's going to pull the sides in or pull the sides out evenly on the two sides. Now our left is almost straight. The right is way off. So you want to have more correction over here and less over here, so the perspective tool won't work for us. Instead, go up to Image, come down to Transform, and come down to Distort. This one will work. What Distort does is it allows you to grab a corner and then put that corner anywhere you want. And we can use this for our adjustment. Okay, we'll start off on the right-hand side. I'll take this right-hand corner, I'll pull it straight out, not up or down, just straight out, until I line up that right-hand side of that tower against that grid line. And that looks pretty good right there. Let's double check over here now because we stretched the image at the top. It's a little bit off right in here and a little bit off here. So I'll take the left hand side. I'll pull that to the left just a little bit. Okay, that looks straight now. That looks straight. This looks straight. So I've now straightened everything up. This still looks nice and straight in here. We've added in a bit of distortion up here. It's really at a sharp angle here. We can minimize that or bring that down a little bit by taking this corner and pulling it straight down. It just kind of limits or minimizes the amount of distortion on that side. And then choose OK. OK, so far so good, but we're left with this big open space up there. Let's go ahead and fix that now. I'll go up to View in this first, hide that grid, get that out of the way. This is easy to fix using the Content Aware Fill. I'll just grab our tool over here. I'll use the Polygonal Lasso tool. I'll click up here someplace and click down. And then click inside of the sky like that. Don't click in here, click inside of the sky area. Let's get some blue in there. Go clear outside and then up around and back to the start. 
So I've selected that open area and a bit of the sky as well. Now just go up to Edit, come down to Fill Selection, and make sure that this is set on Content Aware, and choose OK. And Photoshop Elements then just patches that in. Let's now just deselect and take a look. Perfect patch. There it is. And there's our corrected image. We've now gotten rid of that keystoning problem in here pretty quickly, pretty easily, just by using that distort tool and a little bit of content aware fill. So there's the original, and there's our fixed version. I think you can agree that's a nice fix. I'll just leave it right at that point. Okay, there you go. Let's just put this back to fit on screen. And that's how, using just standard tools, you can fix that keystone problem pretty quickly and pretty easily here inside of Photoshop Elements. All right. Don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to share. Just click on share and share with your friends. Also, don't forget to click on subscribe as well. Click on that little bell icon next to subscribe if you want to get notifications of my new videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, not just the few things I show here in the YouTube videos, but the whole program, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, I'll see you next time.